Hey guys, so today I have a quick video for you all about the Magic Band 2.0. So I recently went to Disney World and this is the first of the 2.0 bands that I've received. I've got loads of the original ones, but I basically just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the difference. And I did also get the Magic Keeper, so we're going to take the middle out and try it out in here to see how that works. So if we look at the bands side by side, there's not much difference in weight. They are very, very similar in that respect. You can see that this one is wider at the widest part because obviously you do have the removable disc there. So this one is kind of a bit more slimline looking, which I do prefer. Um, but the band itself is much more flexible on the new one. Um, the original Magic Bands were very, very thick feeling. This is actually the second version, so they did bring out the thinner band. Um, this one feels slightly thinner again, though, I would say. But other than that, they're very similar all the way down the actual band. Obviously, the middle is a bit different there. And all of this is the same. Let's just see if they're the same length. Yes, they are the same length. And as with the original, with this one, you can still pull the coloured section away from the grey section. So if you've got very small wrists or the band is for a child, then you can do that so that it fits. Because obviously on a child, this would be way too big. And on the other side, they're much the same as well. So you have your name on the inside. On this one, the name is on the back of the disc. And yeah, that's all pretty similar. And just taking a look at the thickness, you would think that the new one with the removable disc would be a lot thicker, but actually it's pretty similar to be honest. In terms of differences with the actual band, in terms of what it does, I understand from some YouTube videos I've watched of people using them in the park, that these ones are slightly quicker. So if you are scanning your band to get one of your photo pass pictures or something like that, it's a little bit quicker, but just by a few seconds. If you have the old one, it's absolutely fine to still use that. Even though they've brought out these new ones, any Magic Band that you have that is active will still work. So you don't have to have the new one. And other than that, they do the same thing. It's really just the fact that you can take the middle out so that if you don't want to wear a band around your wrist, you can still obviously have this in the Magic Keeper, which we'll look at in a second. And then you can still do everything exactly the same way. But I think this is just so that people don't have to wear it. So this is the Magic Keeper that I picked up. I think it was around $12. And I have seen a Minnie Mouse one, which I really wanted, which has got the little bow on the top. I looked everywhere in the parks and couldn't find it anywhere. I actually got this one in the Emporium at the Magic Kingdom. So let's just get it out of the box and we can take a look. As you can see, it comes with the tool for you to get the disc out of the band and then put it into here. So this is what the Magic Keeper looks like and it's not too thick or heavy, it's very, very lightweight. So if you were clipping this onto your bag or onto your belt or anything like that. I was a little bit concerned about how sturdy this is because I'm planning on clipping this onto my bag and you know what it's like in the parks where you're getting on and off rides. Your bag does obviously get knocked around and I was thinking, is this you know, going to break? Might the ears snap off? All of that kind of thing. So that remains to be seen. I honestly can't tell you how this is gonna wear until I've used it around the parks, but on my next trip, I'm definitely going to try it out. So I will let you know in an upcoming video if there are any problems like that. And it just has a little clip here. So like I said, you could use that on a belt or on a bag or whatever you wanted really. Just make sure whatever you clip it to is something that you're keeping with you all the time. So if you've got something in the stroller, like a diaper bag or something, I wouldn't obviously clip it on there because for one thing, someone could grab it. Um, I don't know necessarily if people would do that, but you never really know. And also, if you then go to go on an attraction and you've got a fast pass or something, then you won't have it. So you need to obviously clip this to something that is with you all the time. And in terms of instructions, this is very limited. It's literally just saying the icon is removable from your Magic Band 2 with the help of a small screwdriver under adult supervision. Place the icon into the accessory. Be sure not to over tighten the screws. There are a couple of diagrams here. So we're going to, it looks like there's just kind of a plate around the edge which you unscrew. So let's give it a go anyway. I'm sure it's not complicated. So I'm gonna go in. These are actually quite tight, so you do need to kind of push down quite hard, and it's a tiny bit fiddly because it is such a small screwdriver. 
so just be really careful because as I was doing that the screw actually popped out and you can see how teeny tiny that is so you don't want to lose it so just be aware of that so now that's done this bit pings out so that's just the bit that goes around the edge and then out comes the middle of the band once you have the screws out, it's actually really easy to get the middle out. It's just a case of getting them started. I was doing this obviously to show you guys, but in future I would put it up that way, flat on a table and then do the screwdriver. And also there's less chance of the screws going everywhere. So now we want to get this little plastic edge piece out. Okay, so that does just pop out of there, but that was quite tough to get out. Obviously, if it was loose, then it would be falling off all the time, so I do get it, but you might want to get the screwdriver or something just to lever it out, because I was really worried about snapping the inside bit. So just be careful when you're doing that as well, but that does just pull off. So now I'm just gonna set the magic band disc in the middle, and then snap this back in. I am planning on keeping this one in here now because when I go on my next trip I'll get another magic band to actually wear as a band so I'm not planning on taking this in and out of here and to be honest I really wouldn't recommend that it was not the easiest thing to do I definitely would not want to be in the situation where I'm having to take this in and out of here to put back in the band on any kind of regular basis so if you only have one and you are planning on using it as a band I don't know if this would be a good idea for you because it really is quite annoying getting that in and out it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be I will definitely let you guys know how this wears or if it falls off or breaks or anything like that it does feel very secure now that that's on there I don't think anything is um, going to fall off obviously I need to just put the screws back in there as well so that's why you need to be careful that you don't lose the screws because this doesn't come with extra ones you only have the ones that come with the band so don't lose the teeny tiny screws because you're going to want to screw that in place in a minute which I am going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really apologise for any focus issues that were going on. Um, whenever you're doing stuff like this, this camera does not like focusing, so hopefully it was okay. If you have any questions about magic bands that I didn't cover, um, feel free to ask those in the comments. And also I have a video all about magic bands, how you get one, how they work, what you do with them, everything to do with magic bands. So I will link that below if you are just planning your Disney trip and you're wondering how they work and all that kind of thing. Definitely check that out below and I have a blog post going up shortly so as soon as that's up I will link that below as well and if this is the first of my videos that you're seeing I also vlog all of my Disney trips as well as put up restaurant reviews and resort reviews and all that kind of thing so if you're not already hit the subscribe button and next to that you have the bell icon that just makes sure if you click that you get notifications of all my upcoming videos I will also link all my social media I regularly post on there loads of Disney photos and updates and things like that so you can follow along on there for any updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.